What's up, guys? Just checking in. I talked to a couple of you who's interested in uh, humidors and uh, wine coolers conversion. Turn your wine cooler into a humidor. I'm just going to show a couple quick tricks that I learned when I made mine. I have two of them plus a 100-count humidor. And I wanted to show a little box opening of some more tobacco I got yesterday in the mail. Smoking that uh, Samuel Glyph Full Virginia Flake from Tobacco Row. And I'm very pleased, at least on my standpoint, to announce that it does live up to its hype, at least for me. I'm very happy with it. Now I'm hooked on it, and uh, as everybody else, I can't come across it and find it anywhere, so thanks a lot. But it, uh, a little quick up review on it. Uh, instantly, I tasted uh, a sweet, a very nice sweet tobacco taste. A little raisins came to mind with me instantly. Uh, only had about four bowls of it now, so I really, I'm just an amateur at uh, really doing any reviews on it. But uh, from my standpoint, I really like it a lot. It burns really slow once you get it lit. It's a little wet. Once you get it wet, let, yeah. Once you get it lit, burns really slow. The ash doesn't break up at all. I've been smoking this same bowl for over half an hour, and I didn't even have it halfway filled. Uh, I was talking to a couple, a couple of you. I'm getting into doing some cellaring myself. I bought another two dozen uh, bottles. Got a little package in the mail yesterday. <clears throat> I really don't want to say where I got it from. At least not yet, anyway. A few of you. Uh, the Wiffs, Commonwealth. I haven't tried any of these, so these are all new to me. Picked up uh, the Wiffs Perfection. Wiff's Navy Flake and uh, based on some of your recommendations uh, whether the stuff's good or bad I'm, I'm basically just going by what other people are saying so many of you are saying that they're good or bad or what have you Dunhill's Nightcap Peterson's Sunset Breeze uh, Peterson's Connoisseur's Choice, and I picked up Dunhill's 965 mixture, and I'm hoping I got another pipe coming next week. Uh, I didn't listen to myself, and I bid on another one on eBay. It's a really nice one that I like. Uh, I keep my fingers crossed, hoping I get this one, and uh, just going to show a quick little. Uh, couple pictures of the uh, wine coolers and show you how I did that real fast. Alright guys, this is on my webcam. It's easier to upload videos, so bear with me, but uh, you'll get the general idea. Uh, that's a better upload, up close picture of it. I don't have it plugged in. In the wintertime, in the northeast, the temperature gets, of course, cold. So in the wintertime, I actually unplug it all together. Summertime makes it nice. Uh, that's what the inside looks like. Uh, I don't have all my cigars in here. Like I said, I have a locker at uh, my local shop. But you get the general idea. First thing I was talking at Tobacco Row, first thing you have to make sure that your wine cooler is thermo thermoelectric wine cooler. You can't have a compressor. It has to be uh, thermoelectric. And as you can see that there, that's called a cigar oasis. Uh, I keep it about 65-70% humidity. Uh, you have to buy yourself a digital hydrometer. hygrometer. Uh, what I did was I took the metal shelves out of the inside of it. And I have a online source where you can buy Spanish cedar pretty reasonable. I bought quarter inch slices of Spanish cedar. 
that's all that is. I just made my own shells. I velcroed the sides a little bit just to put more spanny cedar in there. You actually really don't have to use spanny cedar. You could actually even use just boxes, but I prefer to use spanny cedar. This is where I keep most of my singles. There's a few boxes in there. But as you can see, it's really big and it, it does look nice. In the summertime, you can plug it in. Keep the temperature exactly where you want it. Uh, that's one of them I have. Here's my other one. This is where I keep more boxes. I'm hoping that picks up good enough because it's dark in here. Basically, I did the same thing. Uh, another cigar oasis is where I keep a lot of boxes. More Spanish cedar. These here are heartfelt beads. Mesh beads. They're just like kitty litter beads, but you have to get the uh, non-scented ones. These are at 65% RH. You uh, turn a certain percentage of them, what you feel comfortable with, with distilled water. That helps a little bit of the humidity for me. Uh, basically, that's it. They're nice in the summertime. You set the temperature. I set it about 65 or so. And uh, general rule is anywhere between 60 and 70 humidity, you're in general good shape. Quick picture of my uh, beer meister. I gotta get that thing running again. Generally, that's about it. I uh, just wanted to show you real fast. And uh, good luck with uh, making your. So that's about it. Uh, like I said, if I wouldn't invest in a wine cooler unless you're really into cigars, but uh, it's a really cheap way to go for a large humidor. Uh, you're looking at maybe. I don't know. I forget how much I paid for them. Under 150, probably 180 dollars shipped for a 28 bottle wine cooler, and you could see how many boxes of cigars you could fit in there and uh, singles. I'm smoking some of that Devil's Holiday from T Row. I'm liking that shit too. But uh. Like I said, with the Spanish cedar, you don't have to uh, fill it with Spanish cedar, but it certainly does help, and it's not that expensive. Uh, i got a website, if you're interested, that I can uh, lead you to. Other than that, that's about it. Uh, i got a lot of entries for that contest I'm going to have. I'm going to wait another uh, four or five days to make sure everybody that... Uh, with subscribers that didn't get to see it yet, want to get in on it or not, and then uh, every couple of days or so I'll eliminate some names and see who wins the end. Good luck to everybody. Sorry, I wish I could give everybody something, but I can't afford it. I'm glad, uh, Pipe Pipe, you got your cigars. No problem. Congratulations again. And Buckeye Pipe Smoker. Uh, I'll send your package is going out next week.